Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about the exchange argument technique to prove greedy algorithm. So yeah, uh, first let's uh, see the steps for the exchange argument technique. So the first step is same as we did for greedy stays ahead that is label <coughs> solutions. For example, A can be something like I1, I2, dot 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 something. And also this we generate from our algorithm. And then O can be something like um, J1, J2, dot dot dot, etc. And this is any optimal solution. So the first step is label solutions. Second step is here we show that A and O are different in some way. We show that A and O are different in some way. Maybe some element is in A but not in O or vice versa or maybe um, the order of elements in A is different than you know anything like that we just show that A and O are different in some way and the third step is uh, we follow the exchange argument trick exchange argument so here we show that uh, by changing or exchanging some elements in A or O we can like move from O to A so we generally move from O to A by exchanging some elements in O maybe we exchange some elements which was not present in O earlier and we bring it uh, from other elements or maybe we change the order in O yeah so the third step is about exchange arguments now let's see a very simple example so we will solve this uh, simple code for this problem and uh, let's see the statement so slavic is preparing a present for a friend's birthday he has an array of n digits and the present will be the product of all these digits okay because slavic is a good kid who wants to make the biggest product possible he wants to add one to exactly one of his digits what is the maximum product slavic can make so we are given uh, this array of digits and we can add one to any of the digits exactly one of the digits right so that the product becomes biggest possible okay let's uh, try the first example two two one two so the problem name is good kid so we are given two two one two like this so we have to add one to any of the digits and uh, see like how can we make the product biggest so let's say i add one to this one uh, this two then our product will become three times two times one times two similarly the product will be same because two if we add one to two again similar product will get after adding one to the fourth element so we get a different product after we add one to the uh, like this element third element so here we will get like we have two to one two i add one here so here we'll uh, get the product as two times two times two times two so here the product will be four times three equals to twelve right and here the product is sixteen so this is uh, like first observation i can see is uh, maybe if i add one to the least uh, integer like smallest integer we get bigger product in that case right maybe we can try more examples like this one zero one two zero one two here we can see that uh, if i add one to any of these the product will remain zero so i must add one to zero only and this is the smallest here so the product will become one times one times two it will be two let's see one more example four three two three four let's say i add one to four then product becomes five three 
2 3 and 4 if i add 1 to 3 the product becomes 4 times 3 oh sorry 4 times 4 2 3 4 and uh, i can add 1 to 2 also let's try this for um, 4 3 3 3 and 4 so if you see that uh, in all of these 3 4 is constant let's remove this from all three and then <coughs> uh, let's compare these two first so in these two um, so the two is constant right we can remove two so five three is a 15 and four four is a 16 so it is bigger this one so if we add one to a smaller number uh, it gives us bigger result as far as I can observe here but uh, if we compare these two let's see what happens so in the upper one we had four four two three four and here we have four three 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 four so we can see three four are same we can cross those and then we see four is same and uh, then we see the product four to the eight three three is a nine so as far as I can observe here, I can see that when we add 1 to the smaller number, we get a bigger product, right? So let's try to prove this with exchange argument. Um, so let's say we have n elements, a1, a2, an, and these are in increasing order. Increasing order, right? So let's try to add like let's say uh, let's take two elements one is a i and one is a j and uh, here we can assume that a j is greater than a i so let's uh, create two product one while uh, adding one to a i and one while adding uh, one to a j so we will get two product here one will be a i a one a two then a i plus one right somewhere aj we will get an so this is the product one p1 and then product two will be a1 a2 ai somewhere we'll, we will get aj plus one an this will be product two now in both of these we can see that many of the elements are same we can like cross those from here and we will remain with these two elements so let's compare these two so from p1 and p2 what we will get from p1 we will get ai plus 1 aj and from p2 we will get ai aj plus 1 okay um, let's multiply let's open these brackets ai aj plus aj and here we will have ai aj plus ai okay uh, we can cross these these are the same and we are left left with aj and ai and we already established that aj was greater than ai so here from here we can say that p1 is greater than p2 so whenever we add one to the smaller number we get a greater product so this is uh, like how uh, exchange argument works this is a very simple case so here we didn't uh, do much yeah but uh, this is all about exchange arguments and uh, we will uh, like see more examples more uh, we will solve more problems based on exchange arguments so uh, stay tuned for the upcoming videos and subscribe this channel for the latest content thank you